HPO4 negative combined with an Na plus ion. So that is the salt which I'm using. So the second reaction, first let me write aqueous phase over here. The second reaction that is taking place is Na H Na2 HPO4 negative HPO4 not negative HPO4 aqueous. Now this will completely dissociate because it is a salt. So it will completely dissociate to form NaHPO4 negative ions again plus Na plus aqueous. So now I have my weak acid which is NaH2PO4 and I have my conjugate base which is Na2HPO4. So uh, uh, which sorry, which is NaHPO4 negative. So my weak acid and my conjugate base. I have excess solution, excess supply of this. So I have 0.2 mole per dm cube of the acid, and I have 0.1 mole per dm cube of the salt. So if I have 0.1 mole per dm cube of this, then I have 0.1 mole per dm cube of this, and 0.1 mole per dm cube of this because the salt is completely dissociating into ions. So now. Let's apply the Henderson Hasselbatch equation. So it will be pH is equal to pKa plus log 10. Um, this will be the A negative. A negative in this case is NaHPO4 negative, the conjugate base, the concentration of the conjugate base over the concentration of the acid which is N weak acid sorry which is NaH2PO4 so this becomes negative log 10 of in brackets 6.3 into 10 to the power of minus 8 uh, let me write it in a proper way because it's looking too shabby here so this will be, uh, let me make some more space. So this will be, I put my equal to sign over here, negative log 10 in brackets, the K value of Ka, which is 6.3 into 10 to the power of minus 8 plus log 10. plus log 10 um, I have 0 0.2 over here because the con sorry 0 0.1 or 0 0.2 I have 0 0.1 over here because the concentration of NaHPO4 negative is 0 0.1 over 0 0.2 because this is the concentration of the acid so concentration of the conjugate base over the concentration of the acid and when I calculate this, and when I put this in, on my calculator, the value that I get for this is 6.90. Two, three significant figures. So 6.90. So the pH of this buffer solution is 6.90. And we have done uh, this. We have run buffer solution. We have completed this. So now we have completed the entire acid base equilibria part and we are left with this with the solubility part so the solubility of sparingly soluble salts so whenever you see a salt and you say that this is soluble and this is insoluble it is it is actually incorrect because a, a salt can never be completely insoluble i repeat it can never be completely insoluble it will be it will be it will be slightly soluble always if it's ins if it seems insoluble then it will still be slightly insoluble i will show you how and i will explain what i'm talking about but it can never be completely insoluble even if it is soluble to the infinitesimal amount it will still be soluble so for example silver chloride is an insoluble salt. It is known as an insoluble or sparingly soluble salt. Silver chloride. So silver chloride is known as an insoluble salt. But when I add it to water, actually, then there is a reaction, take reversible reaction taking place, which gives me 
AG plus Aquas plus